Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Modern Study Pro. In this video, we'll fully cover Chapter 4, Electrochemistry from Class 10 Chemistry, including MCQs, short and long questions. Open timestamps are given in the description box for easy navigation. And don't forget, the full exercise of Chapter 3 is also linked below. Let's begin. 1. Which of the following statements is not correct about the galvanic cell? Risk. A. Cations are reduced at the cathode. B. Anions are oxidized at the anode. C. Electrons flow from cathode to anode. D. Oxidation occurs at the anode. Answer. C. Electrons flow from cathode to anode. Explanation. Asterisk. Students in a galvanic cell. Electrons always flow from anode to cathode through the external wire. Cathode is where reduction happens, and anode is where oxidation occurs. So statement C is wrong because it says the direction is from cathode to anode, which is incorrect. So option C is the answer. 2. Which of the following is not true about the Daniel cell? A. Half cell of an active metal acts as a cathode. B. Half cell contains an element in contact with its ions in aqueous solution. C. A salt bridge connects the two half cells. D. A spontaneous oxidation reduction reaction generates electricity. Answer. A. Half cell of an active metal acts as a cathode. Explanation. Asterisk. In a Daniel cell, zinc is the anode and copper is the cathode. Zinc is more reactive, so it is oxidized. The less reactive metal, copper, acts as cathode. So, statement A is incorrect because the active metal acts as the anode, not cathode. Hence, option A is the correct answer. 3. Which of the following does not involve an electrolytic process? Asterisk, asterisk. A. Refining of copper. B. Manufacture of sodium from NaCl. C. Electroplating of steel. D. Reduction of metal oxide by a reducing agent. Answer. D. Reduction of metal oxide by a reducing agent. Explanation. Electrolytic processes involve electrolysis, where electric current is used to bring a chemical change. Options A, B, and C are all electrolytic, but option D is a chemical reduction, not electrolysis. So, option D is correct. 4. Galvanizing is A. Coating with SN B. Coating with ZN C. Coating with CR D. Coating with CU Answer. B. Coating with ZN Explanation. Galvanizing is the process of coating iron or steel with a layer of zinc, ZN, to prevent rusting. It protects the metal from corrosion. So, the correct answer is option B. 5. Which of the following is true for the Nelson cell? A. Sodium metal is produced at the anode. B. Chlorine gas is produced at anode. C. Hydrogen gas is produced at the anode. D. Sodium ions are not reduced at the cathode. Answer. B. Chlorine gas is produced at anode. Explanation. In a Nelson cell, molten NaCl is electrolyzed. At the anode, Cl ions lose electrons and form chlorine gas. At the cathode, sodium ions get reduced to sodium metal. So the correct answer is option B. 6. Electroplating involves A. Using an electrolyte to oxidize a metal. B. Coating a metal object with a thin layer of metal through electrolysis. C. Melting a metal object to form a thin coating. D. Using heat to form a layer of metal on another metal object. Answer. B. Coating a metal object with a thin layer of metal through electrolysis. Explanation. Electroplating is a method where we use electrolysis to deposit a thin layer of metal onto another metal surface. It's used for decoration and protection. Option B is absolutely correct. 7. In a voltaic cell, the salt bridge serves the function of A. Preventing electrons from flowing in the external circuit. B. Maintaining electrical neutrality by allowing ion movement. C. Storing excess energy from a cell. D. Generating additional voltage for the cell. Answer. B. 
Maintaining electrical neutrality by allowing ion movement. Explanation. The salt bridge allows the flow of ions between the two half cells to keep the charge balanced. It does not store energy or generate voltage. So, option B is correct. 8. If the voltage data shows metal A has a higher standard reduction potential than metal B, it can be concluded that A. Metal A is more reactive than metal B. B. Metal B is more reactive than metal A. C. Metal A and metal B have the same reactivity. D. Metal A is less likely to gain electrons than metal B. Answer. B. Metal B is more reactive than metal A. Explanation. Higher standard reduction potential means the metal gains electrons easily, so it is less reactive as a metal. More reactive metals have lower, more negative reduction potentials. So, metal B is more reactive than A. Option B is correct. 2. Short questions. 1. What is a fuel cell? A fuel cell is a device that produces electricity through a chemical reaction between a fuel, like hydrogen, and an oxidizing agent, like oxygen. Unlike batteries, it keeps generating electricity as long as fuel is supplied. For example, hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells are used in space vehicles. 2. Write chemical reactions that occur in Nelson's cell. In Nelson's cell, used to obtain sodium metal. At cathode, reduction. At anode, oxidation. So, sodium metal is formed at the cathode and chlorine gas is released at the anode. 3. Why tin-plated steel is used to make food cans? Steel is strong, but it can rust. So, it is coated with tin, which prevents rusting and does not react with food. This makes tin-plated steel safe and long-lasting for storing food. 4. Explain one example from daily life which involves an oxidation-reduction reaction. A common example is rusting of iron. Iron reacts with oxygen and water to form iron oxide, rust. Here, iron loses electrons, oxidation, and oxygen gains electrons, reduction. 5. Define electrochemical series. The electrochemical series is a list of elements arranged in order of their standard electrode potentials. It helps us predict which element will be oxidized or reduced in redox reactions. 6. Why does chlorine gas form at the anode during the electrolysis of molten lead to chloride? During electrolysis, negative ions, Cl, move to the anode and lose electrons, forming chlorine gas. So chlorine gas is always produced at the anode in this reaction. 7. How do hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells benefit the environment compared to gasoline engines? Hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells produce only water as a byproduct. No harmful gases. They do not release carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, or other pollutants, unlike gasoline engines. So, they are much cleaner and environmentally friendly. 8. Sketch a Daniel cell with labeled components and indicate the direction of electron flow. Zinc electrode anode. Copper electrode cathode. Salt bridge. Zinc sulfate and copper sulfate solutions. Electron flow from zinc anode to copper, cathode, through the external wire. 3. Long questions. 1. Define oxidation and reduction in terms of loss or gain of oxygen or hydrogen. Oxidation is the gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen. Reduction is the loss of oxygen or gain of hydrogen. For example, two, sketch a Daniel cell, labeling the cathode, anode, and the direction of flow of electrons. Zinc rod equals anode, oxidation. Copper rod equals cathode, reduction. Salt bridge connects both. Electrons flow from anode to cathode, zinc copper. 3. Describe the method of recovering metal from lead to chloride. To recover lead from, P to recover lead from PBCl2, we do electrolysis of molten PBCl2. At cathode, PB superscript 2 plus 2EPB, lead metal is formed. At anode, 2ClCl2 plus 2E, chlorine gas is released. So lead is deposited at the cathode and chlorine gas at the anode. 4. Construct ionic half equations for reaction at electrodes in the electrolysis of copper. 2. Sulfate in the presence of copper electrodes. Here, 
the copper from the anode dissolves and gets deposited at the cathode. 5. Electrolysis has a major role in electrochemical industries. A. Sketch an electrolytic cell, label the anode and cathode, and indicate the direction of electron transfer. Electrodes in electrolyte. Electrons flow from external source to cathode. B. Describe the nature of the electrochemical process. Electrolysis uses electrical energy to cause a non-spontaneous chemical reaction. It is widely used in electroplating, purification, and metal extraction. C. Distinguish between electrolytic and voltaic cells. Voltaic cell converts chemical energy to electrical. Is spontaneous. Electrolytic cell uses electrical energy to do chemical change. It is non-spontaneous. 6. For each of the following electrolytes, write electrode half-reactions. A. Copper. 2. Sulfate solution using copper electrodes. Copper. 2. Chloride using carbon electrodes. 7. Predict the products of electrolysis for a dilute solution of potassium iodide. At cathode, H ions are reduced. 2H plus 2EH2, hydrogen gas. At anode, ions are oxidized. 2I I2 plus 2E, iodine formed. 8. Why does chlorine gas form at the anode during the electrolysis of molten lead 2 chloride? As already explained, Cl ions move to the anode and lose electrons. Hence, chlorine gas is produced at the anode. 9. What changes and observations might you expect when comparing electrolysis in molten lead 2 chloride and concentrated aqueous sodium chloride? In molten PbCl2, lead metal and chlorine gas are produced. In aqueous NaCl, hydrogen gas at cathode and chlorine gas at anode due to water also being present. Also, bubbles form more at both electrodes in aqueous solution. X. How would you set up an experiment to demonstrate the production of different substances at anode and cathode using copper? 2. Sulfate with copper electrodes. Take CuSO4 solution in a beaker. Insert two copper electrodes. Connect to a DC power source. After some time, observe. Copper deposited on cathode. Copper dissolving from anode. The blue color of solution remains constant as Cu superscript 2 ions are replaced. 11. Compare and contrast the products formed at electrodes during electrolysis of concentrated NaCl and dilute H2SO4 using inert electrodes. In ACL, AQ, cathode, H2 gas, anode, Cl2 gas, dilute H2SO4, cathode, H2 gas. So, both produce hydrogen at cathode, but the anode products differ. 12. Assess the environmental impact of using hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells versus gasoline engines. Fuel cells, pros. White heavy check mark, no CO2 emissions. White heavy check mark, only water is formed. White heavy check mark, high efficiency. Cons. Crossmark hydrogen production requires energy. Crossmark expensive setup. Gasoline engines, pros. White heavy check mark, cheap and widely available. Cons. Crossmark produce CO2, CO, NOx gases. Crossmark contribute to global warming and air pollution. Fuel cells are better for the environment, but need investment and infrastructure. 13. Compare the ionic half equations for the electrolysis of a dilute solution and a concentrated solution of sodium chloride. How do the products differ? Dilute, NaCl. Concentrated, NaCl. Cathode. H2 gas. Anode, Cl2 gas. Difference. In dilute solution, water also participates, while in concentrated solution, NaCl dominates. But the final products are same gases, though their quantities. Vari.